Whoa, there we go. Hey guys, uh, Foxer here. Sorry about that. For some reason, my computer kind of lagged when it came to uh, putting fraps, or I should say, engaging fraps, and somehow it put faster on three times. Anyway, it's on faster now. Let's go. Um, this is match two of Liquid Azul and the uh, other dude, Horror. I still like how his name is spelled. Um, Um, I guess I should say I finally did find a format that works. .acv. It's the format that's actually used by YouTube to stream all their videos to you. Which means, no, they do not use Flash. They use, um, Flash as the, the carrier. As in, you, you use Flash to, uh, to access the file, but it's actually in a completely different format than the, you know, .flv even though you can download it in FLV and play it in a, a Flash Player program. But, anyway, let's get back to the game. <laughs> um, I am trying to hurry up and do this before I have to get back and take my finals, because my finals are today. But we got Liquid coming here, doing his usual scouting, knowing that there's not anything really going up. I don't think he sees... Did he see? Yeah, he saw the uh, spawning pool, so he knows that's going up. And it's only halfway done, which means he can still get himself some pretty decent scouting in here if he wanted to. Extractor already going up, which either means he's probably going to go straight to, uh, um, I want to say one of three units. He could go Muta, he could go Hydralisk, or he could go Roach, which I guess is the three basic things, but, um,. Uh, I'm thinking he's wanting to hurry up and try and see what he can find out what they're going to do, but he does see this pool is probably... No, maybe he is going to come back. I was going to say, maybe he saw that the pool finished. Yeah, he saw that the pool finished. So... I kind of thought maybe he was going to leave before the Zerglings had a chance to come out and kill his pro, but... Oh, no, already Zealot's coming across. He's going to... He's going to Chrono Boost. Already getting cybernetic score. But I think the zealot was just here to say, hey, uh, I'm here to help you, my little pro. But I think this time, this guy's actually going to have enough. He's going to have enough uh, zerglings, possibly. No, he's not. I always get that wrong. Usually whenever I have that amount of Zerglings, I can take out a, a Protoss. There's that lot. But apparently these guys can't. <laughs> must must be some pretty weak Zerglings. But I know who. I've seen a lot of Zerglings come up. I don't see... I do not see a fourth or a third Zealot on its way yet. There it is. But is this going to be enough to handle this? Knowing my predictions, it will be plenty enough to not <laughs> do anything. He needs to get a little bit more Zerglings, which he just did. Now the, the larva just pops. We're going to see some more. This might be just enough Zerglings. There we go. And now there is definitely not enough in the Protoss space. Oh, so not enough, but that sentry does help, does buy him some time. Uh, is he going to be able to handle this? I'm not sure. We do see more, more Zerglings coming across this map. He needs to get another gate or something he, he needs. Is that another gate up there? Yes, he's got two more gates and a robotics facility on the way. But is it going to be in time? Oh, uh, I don't think it is. I think all these pylons... They're probably all going to get sniped down. But here comes some probes, probably coming out to distract. I'm not sure. Probably going to try to tank the damage so that way that sentry can get out there. But no, it's going to go down. But there are just enough probes to hopefully kill the zerglings. 
And Morse is going to even come in. Oh, there's not going to be much he can do just as quickly as he can get this Protoss unit out. It's just as quick as the other units get in. But are they going to be able to snipe this, this pylon in time before this one can get out? Yes. He does get it out, but it's just going to get surrounded and it's going to go down. And this pylon is going to go down before any of these units can get out. I'm forced to use probes. Oh, this this one time, and he does GG out. It, this is the one time where his uh, his his early uh, attacks does not quite work. He did not get a third Zella out there quick enough to handle this. But even if he did take out those little ones there, there's already more on the way. This goes to show you how easy it is for Zerd to mass up units. That's that's why Lickin has go. I'm assuming why he always against Zerg. I've always seen him rush over here as quick as he can with his first Zella and just do as much damage as he can before anything can happen. But I think what might have been the case is I think Horror got a spawning pool just slightly earlier than than normal, or maybe he was able to get it up, or uh, maybe uh, Liquid was not able to get his first gateway up as fast. But, um, like I said, just goes to show you how good Zerg is at massing up their units. Um, well, <laughs> that was awfully short. <laughs> uh, I actually have enough time to do a second one. I thought I was going to only have enough time for one. Anyway, uh, good luck out there, guys, with all your matches. Uh, I hope to someday be able to get a donation page up or something so I can accept donations so I can uh, host a tournament like uh, kinda like HDs in Huskies um, but I know that nobody is going to want to play unless there's some kind of prize so um, I'm going to be working on that for if anybody feels like they want to put any kind of donation towards a a small tournament it doesn't have to be big donations it's, it, it's just okay but um I'm not even asking for the donations. I'm just going to put a page up there and say, Hey guys, there's this if you want to. But anyway, uh, I'm out of here. Let's see if I can get another one up.